So let's say you have a graph, you need to add your uncertainties to the graph so it's totally finished. Uh, click data and you'll see your values that you have for your two variables and then you also have columns for uncertainty. Um, so this is where you're going to put the values for uncertainty that you've decided um, are appropriate for whatever the measurement is. So let's just say in this case for time I say it's 0 0.05 years um, which in this case is kind of silly but this is how you would do it. Um, and then you can just enter that for every single column. Or if you look over here on the right side, it'll give some hints for shortcuts that you can do. Um, and the top one, I believe, is the one you'll want. It'll probably be different than mine since I'm recording this on a Mac. And you're probably using not a Mac. So if you, I think it's control click for you. For me, it's a little different. But if you hold down that key and then click, oop, I think you have to the top highlight highlighted and then click down at the bottom it'll automatically fill all the way down and then let's say for the value of height my uncertainty is 0.1 meter and then I just want to fill that all the way down so I do the same little shortcut you can just enter each of those individually and manually but it's a little easier if you don't have to then when you go back to your graph you'll notice that there are error bars that are put in there showing the range for your point based on the uncertainty values that you've just entered. And then when you do linear fit, it'll include that in there and it'll also give you a more accurate uncertainty for your slope and intercept based upon the uncertainties that you just entered. And that's it. That's all I have to do to add uncertainties to LineRig.